Hey guys, what's up? Serena here from thriftdiving.com. So today we are upcycling ceiling fan lights. Yes, you know those ugly things from like the 1980s, 1970s? Well, we're gonna make them look pretty and we're gonna use some wood and turn them into candle holders. Stick with me because I'm gonna show you how to do this. It's really easy, it's like 30 minutes. The only thing that you need are some ceiling fan lights. If you go to the thrift store, you can find them for maybe $2. I'm gonna use one by four wood. Now you should know that one by four wood is not four inches, okay? That's one of the little things they never tell you in woodworking. When you first get started, you just, <laughs> you just have to kind of discover that on your own. It's actually three and a half. So this board is gonna be fine because we're gonna use a hole saw with a two and a quarter inch diameter. It's a little accessory that goes onto the front of your drill. Let's take the battery out. And you know, it's, it's mainly known for when you're cutting holes, you know, you're hanging a new door and you wanna put uh, a doorknob and you need to cut that doorknob hole. This is generally what you're gonna use it for. But you know, we're crafters, we're DIYers. So I've been using this to kind of cut out holes for other things. So today, of course, we're gonna cut out this hole and use it for the ceiling fan light to sit in there and make a candle holder. So in order to attach this, it's just, guys, it's just really as simple as putting in, putting in a drill bit, okay? You loosen the chuck, you slide it in there, tighten it up, and this is the two and a quarter inch diameter hole, but they come in different sizes. And then just tighten up the chuck and make sure that's, you know, you can probably give it just a little pull, make sure it's on there tight, and it is. Pop your battery in, and now you're in business. So let's get started with cutting some holes. I've already done one here. So I marked the center of this board. I know this is three and a half inches. So um, I think, what is it, like two, one, and gosh, what is my math? One and three quarters, I believe. Yeah, one and three quarters. So I just measured a line here. I'm gonna mark the center line and I'm gonna put it a little darker just so you can see it. But I'm just kind of marking the center line here. And you can also use a T-square too. This works really nicely. So now that I've marked this dot here on the other circle. Oh, the only thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take this point and just be very careful, of course, making sure I'm wearing eyeglasses. I'm going to take this point of the center and put it right on that dot just to make sure I'm right centering my hole. And then I'm just going to turn it on and very slowly It'll start to make connection with the wood and then you just have to hold on because it's gonna it's gonna feel like it's gonna get jammed up but just keep going and it's gonna take some time to actually cut through the whole thing because I mean this is three quarters of an inch thick so it's gonna take some time just hold on clamp it down as much as you can and just keep letting this make some passes over the hole. Now you can also use a jigsaw to cut these holes. I just prefer the hole saw because it's a nice clean hole. Jigsaws, you have to be really, really exact. And you see what you're doing is you're starting to cut out this circle. does give you, again, make sure the battery's out, and it does give you some little notches in here where you can just kind of force it out. There you go. You have a two and a quarter inch hole. And you know, you can probably upcycle these into something cool. And if you look, now we have two holes here. Now, if you have a jigsaw, you can use a jigsaw to cut this. I'm gonna use my miter saw. Let it stop completely before lifting it up. So we've cut the top of our board. This is where our candle holders are gonna be. 
but I want to add some sides to them and I don't have enough wood. So, because I'm using all just scrap wood, right? Which is awesome. So I have some pile of wood over here. I'm going to look through and pretty much just find some wood that I can make some sides for this so it kind of sits on like a platform. If you're not using scrap wood, if you go to like Home Depot or something to buy your wood, one, a one by four, like this. And it'll be long enough that you could use this part to cut the three holes and then have the other part to put the sides. I'm gonna sand it down with some 220 grit sandpaper. We're ready to assemble the side parts and we're gonna need some wood glue, but we're also gonna need our nailer. Make sure the battery's not in, okay? Push this gray button release. All right, you see those little ridges there? Those ridges are going to be facing the back. Make sure you put them in this way. Slide them up into place and then just push. And you're loaded. This is one of the side pieces and it's going to go like that. Before we do that, we want to put a layer of wood glue. So just put a little layer on top of here. Make sure it's lined up hold it in place. Now I'm going to make sure that I'm not nailing right where the holes are because if you do that it's going to come through to the other end. So just make sure you nail in the places where there are not holes there. 